Okay, this is to make like a 12 inch cake. So the base is 12 inches. And I'm going to show you how to cover your cardboard very simply. Just take a piece of tissue paper, lay it down on your table on a flat surface and start taping one end and slowly fold as you go and tape. Okay, you just continue around and just tape to secure your bottom. This is going to be the bottom of your cake. This doesn't have to be pretty. You could also use a baby blanket if you want to, but we're going to put a bottle in the center so it won't be as secure putting a baby blanket if you're using a bottle for your center. Here's your covered cardboard. Okay, we're going to put tool on the base of the cake right now. So I have just purchased a six inch roll of tool and you're going to need six to seven yards and if you just want to buy regular tool, buy a, a yard of tool and cut into six inch strips. So first you're going to gather your tool just a little bit. Well, make it actually full because when you put your other diapers on, it'll flatten it out a little. So attach it up towards the base. Having it stick over the edge about an inch is preferred. Have some tape cut be beforehand and use your heavier tape again, not scotch tape. And just do about an inch, inch and a half at a time. And slowly gather it and tape it as you go, just a little bit at a time. And then make sure that it's straight and it's still over the edge. And then tape. It doesn't have to be up to the edge of the bottle because your diapers will cover that. Here's the finished product of the tool on the base. I've taken the wine bottle and wrapped it with a blanket, a fleece blanket, and secured it with rubber bands. I've also done the first layer of diapers, securing those and adding the ribbon. Now we're going to start the second layer. It's done the same as the first layer, only I've taken out some time of doing that. The second layer has 15 diapers. You'll want to have like one and a half foot, two foot string or curling ribbon handy to secure them. So you space them about an inch, inch and a half apart. Make sure they're all going the same direction. Just layer them up there. Holding as you go. If you've got a friend handy, it works really well. Or I use my body sometimes to hold them too. Just bring them around, tuck your unfolded ends together. Take your ribbon and you want to tie it in the back. So pick out the front of your tape or your layer. Hold your string and that will secure them. Before you totally tie it, secure them. Make sure that you try to get them as evenly spaced as possible. With a little smaller cake, you're using fewer diapers. So if you have a little more on one edge than the other, that's fine. So you take your ribbon, you pull it tight, and you want it smaller than your first layer, so you've actually got a layered, tiered look. If you've got a friend handy, use the finger so you can secure it. Just tie it in a knot, two or three knots. Eventually, when you're putting your goodies on your cake, 
you might be putting some of them, tucking them down behind this ribbon. So you want it very secure and tight. That's your second layer. Okay, now, if you notice the ribbon is in the center, you need it in the center and very secure before you put your final ribbon on and line all your seams up in the back. Don't have to be perfect, but just make sure they're in the back. We folded, this is a wired ribbon, and we folded the edges over just to give it a finished look. You can also do that if you don't have a wired ribbon. We're going to secure it in the middle, never pinning into the diaper, because that would put a hole in it. We'll overlap the ends. And pulling it out a little bit, place the pin through the ribbon. And then you can pull it up and make sure that they're in the center. And if you notice your diapers, diapers have different patterns on them. This one happens to have the purple pattern. Some are white, some are blue and green, others have yellow on the edge. So keep that in mind when you're planning your diaper cake with what you're going to use for either a boy or girl and your ribbon and accessories. You pull out your blanket and I'm kind of fluffing it to where it looks more like a, a flower. And I'm also going to take a baby bottle and put it in the top to finish that off. Now you can also go ahead and start adding your goodies. I've made a bow out of a package of five washcloths, but there's only three here. They're rolled up and I've taken the tops and just folded them down and secured them with another piece of ribbon and I will take another pin and center it wherever you'd like. This is going to be on the middle section and I'll take and pin the back of it just to the ribbon, never entering the diaper because you don't want to put a hole in the diaper. So there's a little flower arrangement for the front. Now we'll start adding our other parts. Okay, this is the finished product. I've taken the blanket and pulled it out and also fluffed it over, so turned it so it's kind of a bow at the top with the bottle. I've got a bib underneath, socks, a rattle, pacifiers, aspirator, teething ring, bink clip, and I'll turn it so you can see the side. There's a spoon, a bottle wash, you've got another washcloth, bought those in a pack of five, buy socks in packs of three or five. Here's a brush and a comb set. Another bink holder, you've got your spoon, teething rings, and on the back, see how I've got the back lined up so it looks more finished? So there you've got your finished product, and you can change your colors, your items that you want to give the new baby, and even putting things for the parents in there. Good luck.